the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Uh, i got a fun show today. I want to come back with another show in a little bit. We're going to talk about the heavyweight pay-per-view on New Year's Day. Uh, but before we get into that, Tyson Fury set to return early in 2022. Uh, Bob Arum has said that that's uh, likely going to happen. He's given some names. Uh Frank Warren has, has talked about it before in the past as well. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please share um, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism <coughs> Research and Recovery. Sorry about that. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene, all, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to that channel as well. All right, let's get into today's news. So, um, I'm, I'm going to get into a, uh, well, first let's talk about Tyson Fury. Uh, Tyson Fury is obviously, um, you're not very active. <laughs> um, he's been a heavyweight champion twice, um, for years and he's made one title defense. And that was, uh, this past October when he fought, uh, Wilder and beat Wilder again. Um, but you know, just to kind of give the kind of breakdown of um, why, uh, of Fury, he fought Klitschko in 2015, took two and a half years off, fought Sefer Safari, uh, Pineda in a while for the first time, then fought uh, Swar- <laughs> then fought Schwartz, Valine, um, and then Wilder again. Um, you know, a- a- after another long layoff, they fought Wilder a third time. So it's been really inactive. That's all his fights since 2015. Um, he's got two extended layoffs. You know, he's got a year layoff, uh, a three year lay, a two and a half year layoff, and then a year and a half layoff. Um, and I no COVID excuses. Fury fight. Was, the only other heavyweights fought. So so no excuses there. Um, but um, so him coming back on relatively short notice is news. Uh, and, and I was expecting that because it's going to be a non-title fight uh, from what we're being told. I was a bit surprised by the caliber. I, mean, I was expecting, honestly, more Sefer Safaris, uh, Pineda, uh, and guys like that. Um, the names they've mentioned, um, Andy Ruiz, former heavyweight champion, former unified heavyweight champion, um, Robert Hellenius. And um, then Dillian White. Dillian White is the one they're kind of talking about. They're way off on money on that. Uh, White wants ten million. They've offered him five and a half. From what I'm being told, the pot is about twenty million. It's about a twenty million dollar pot. Uh, and they want to put you know seventy five percent in favor of Fury. I guess if that gets made, what we'd be looking at is about fourteen million for Fury, six for White. Will both guys agree to that? I don't know. If they don't, we will have a fight, then we'll go on down the line. My guess would be you're getting Hellenius, but uh, you know, Ruiz is a possibility as well, and that'd be a great fight. You know, Ruiz and White would have a chance to win that fight, you know, because of, of the pop. But Fury is an excellent heavyweight. He's the he, he's 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 you know a classy fighter, he's tall, he's not moving like he used to. If you go back and watch uh at 6'9, 250, okay, Fury was a unicorn. Okay, a guy 6'9", 250, shouldn't be able to move like that. At 270, he's more stationary. He was trying to push Fury uh, wild down, kind of, you know, lean on him, use his 270 pounds to his advantage. Um, he can get clocked that way, right? And, and we've seen Fury get clocked, um, you know, more than a few times. Um, we've seen him get clocked more than a few times. Um, we've seen him get clocked by Steve Cunningham. We've seen him get clocked by Wilder twice. We've seen him get um uh crack, cracked again you know he got dropped twice by by while they're in the second fight as well uh and we saw him get uh cracked by Otto Valine uh, and 
Green had him hurt them, so he can get hit. He gets sloppy, kind of lackadaisical. He kind of falls asleep in there. It's like an ADHD thing or something. I, I don't really know, uh, but he gets hit when he really shouldn't. Go back and you watch the Cunningham. Like, how do you get hit by that? Like, Cunningham wound up on the bleachers and hit him with a shot. It's like, you don't see that coming? Um, but, I, you know, he has moments where he falls asleep. You, you fall asleep against Ruiz. You fall asleep against White. You can get knocked out. You can get knocked out. Obviously, he's durable. He's been knocked down four times by Deontay Wilder. Uh, twice, he's been in a world of trouble. Twice, most fighters would have been stopped. So, full credit to Fury for that. But, you know, I, I want to give Fury credit here. You know, Fury looks like he's going to come back, you know, on relatively short. I know there's issues with COVID and, and, and things like that uh, of making the fight happen. Um, but it looks like Fury's going to come back. He's going to come back early in this year. We don't know where. We don't know exactly when. But those are the names that have been told us are Hellenius, uh, which, eh. Ruiz, which is a great fight, and and Dillian White, which is a great fight. Uh, Dillian White, it looks like is the most is in most advanced stages of negotiations, but the money is an issue. If both guys, uh, you know, if, if Fury wants twenty and, and Wilder wants, uh, if Fury wants twenty and White wants ten, the fight's not going to happen. Uh, like I said, we'd have to get into the ballpark of fourteen million for Fury and six for White. Do both guys agree to that? I don't know, but twenty seems to be the magic number there. Of what they're, you know total pot's going to be. Um, if that doesn't happen, I, I kind of like the Reese fight better, so I'd rather see that. But, you know, White deserves his title shot. And this wouldn't be a title shot, but it would be a shot for the lineal belt, if nothing else. Um, and if all that falls through, you, you get Hellenius, which my gut is saying we're probably going to settle for Hellenius and we're not going to get the other two. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I'm into the first two fights. I, I, I think I would pick Fury. To win those two fights, I'd pick him to beat uh, White. I'd pick him to beat Ruiz, but there's a possibility he could lose those fights. I, I don't see him losing to Hellenius in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Texas Box. Uh, I'm sorry. 3D Boxing uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day. We're going to be right back with another one. We're going to talk about the heavyweight title fight, the heavyweight pay-per-view. Um, it is December 28th, um, 2021. Ivan Calderon is not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. He should be. He didn't get in again. Let's get Ivan Calderon in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.